Hi, I'm Natalie. And my name's Rebecca. And this is our dog, Nana. Well, I actually got the dog for my mom's birthday. So she really wanted a West Highland Terrier. I went and I got her and she was a tiny little puppy. My mom was waiting outside the apartment on the sidewalk, waiting for her and she was very excited and she was a tiny little white puppy. A lot of personality. <laughs> the little uh, West Highland Terriers, they're very feisty. She thinks she's really big. She'll come up to the Doberman Pinscher down the street and just intimidates it. She is pretty cranky, as everybody knows, but it's just a terrier, and terriers are like that. They say that because they're terriers, the word terra is dirt, and that's what it comes from because they dig after rodents and things like that, and she really likes dirt. When Natalie got her dog, Valdi, he came as a puppy to visit us out in North Dakota, and he had very nice toys. She was so upset and jealous that she hid his toys underground. She dug a hole under the garage <laughs> and stuck his toy there. Another habit she has is jumping in front of the TV and barking. She doesn't like the noise at She's very excited by it, so she'll be watching and jumping up and down. We drove, my mom and I drove across the country to North Dakota from Boston with her in the car. Um, so that was a long trip and we stopped at the Great Lakes and we stopped at a lake called Lake Bemidji and she's not really a swimmer but we coaxed her into swimming and when she got out of the water she must have swallowed a lot of water and she let out a very loud burp. And there were people at a picnic table nearby and they, they just looked around. <laughs> it was really kind of surprising. So that was a real a special time, a special moment. <laughs> she follows me everywhere I go. It's like a little lamb all through the house. If I stop, she bumps into the back of my legs. She's just always there. She also can trip people lots of she times. She trips you. She trips you. She, yeah. And, yeah. Um, it and seems, she goes rushing to the kitchen when she hears noises yes. in there. Yes. And uh, if if you're cooking, she tries to. I think she tries to trip you actually, so you drop your food. She has been a wonderful companion for me when I lived alone for many years in the tundra. She was there with me and. Uh, uh, I had a bay window in my little house and every day when I came from work, as I turned into the driveway, she would be lying on the, on the bay window and she would bark, bark, bark and run into the back door to wait for me. Nana's, you know, a great old dog and we've had her for 13 years and she's part of our family. We love her very much. Um, sometimes she can be a little obnoxious with the barking and um, following us around everywhere, but I can't imagine life without her. She's really part of the family. <laughs>